I'm going to do an exercise for Siamese Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Siamese Force because we're going to pre-select categories from the card and force hands in just these categories. This is a great way to test your skills, your knowledge of the card, and it'll help you become more comfortable playing something that you might not normally consider. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. These are the categories we're going to force. We'll do three pulls, two categories each. We're going to alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll get 28 tiles, then 27, and then 28. We have a flower, north, east, pair north. We have a red and white dragon, pair white. In cracks, we have one, three, five, six, seven, nine, pair one, pair nine. In dots, we have two, three, seven, eight, nine, pair nine. In bams, we have one, two, four, five, six. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? and what would be your first discards. If these were my tiles, I think I would play like numbers with nines. We have that right there. Oh, no, no. I think I'd play odds. One, three, five, seven, nine. Right there. One, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. And then I was thinking maybe like numbers with nines, but we have a multiple here that I'd want to use. So to use all the multiples, what I would do is probably play a quint with no jokers. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but you're, you're going to draw jokers. We have a pair of norths and an option. We've got a pair of dragons and an option. And then we have multiples. So we do have a, two more tiles than I typically like to have. I like to try to get four dis, or eight discards. Here we have 10. But we do have a hand with no gaps. I was thinking that maybe we could do one, three, five dragon or five, seven, nine dragon and then use the multiples that we don't use for joker bait. But down here, we have a big multiple there and pairs here for that first quint. This would give us an option or potential joker bait again. Since we have so many discards, maybe keep these for an option and maybe instead of odds, in one suit, do something in mixed suits. In that case, maybe even put those up there and focus on the fours for the quint and play odds of some kind. I don't think I would keep the three or the one. It looks like we have more big odds. So I would keep them all and just see what happens. So if you have more discards than just the eight, which is a good guideline, have a plan B for your weakest hand. 
oh, so yeah, we have odds and a quint. A quint with no jokers. I know, it's a little cringy. Right, hashtag cringe in the comment section below the video if this makes you cringe. Otherwise, let me know if you would have done another category with these tiles. Right, pull, or this would be force one. Look at all these jokers. Maybe we should have waited on that quint category. If that quint category were up there, I would play a quint, but we don't have quints up there now. So let's see what we can do. Our multiples are with fives and nines. Five, nine. We do have two fives and two nines, and we have a white dragon multiple. Maybe we could try for a year hand. We actually have two two twos. They're not the same suit. I would keep the wins because there is a one suit year hand with wins. And then up here, oh, look, we have options. Like numbers, like numbers, like numbers. Oh my gosh, we have a like number there, but there's no multiple there. So I think what I would do is, oh, here we go. There's another option. So we have like numbers with ones, fives, or nines, and then a year hand. So let's just think real quick here, because we also have the three, six, nine category. I wouldn't play two, four, six, eight, because we have no eights, but we might be able to do three, six, nine here. Three six nine, maybe three six nine dragon. Let the four go. Year hand. Like numbers. Maybe we could do like numbers with flowers. And then here a year hand. Or let's see here. What about like numbers with, let's see, let go of the year. Oopsies. Here's a hand with no gaps. Like numbers with dragons and then three, six, nine. Like numbers, three, six, nine. Joker bait, discards. 369 of some kind. I wouldn't pick a hand. I would hoard 369. Use this, oops, use this for joker bait and play like numbers. There we go. If you would have done something different here, write force two and what you would do with these tiles.
We have jokers, which is nice. North and south, pair south. Dragons, white dragon, green dragon. One, three, four, six, eight, pair fours. Flowers, three, four, six, nine, pair nine. Two, four, six, nine. We need to do two, four, six, eight and a year hand, which is a challenge. Maybe we should have split those out in other forces because we're going to be vying for twos. But we do have flowers, dragons, and a two. And then we do have some two, four, six, eight. Well, we're kind of missing a two, but we have jokers. So we could do a hand using the jokers for missing twos, let's say. So let's see which, which would be best here with these flowers, two, four, six, eight. What about, let's see, here's four, six, eight. I think the winds will go. This is our only two. And then flowers, let's see. Twos, four, six, eight. Oh, three can go. Nines could be joker bait. South can be joker bait. Those would, oh, four, six. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. Year hand up here. Hmm. Two, four, six, eight. There's a two, eight, let's see, two, eight, six flowers, two, eight. We'd have to let a four go though. I think I would rather use that, hope for a two crack, which is a pair, maybe for the first hand. Let's see, two, four, six, two, four, Hmm, big challenge here, year tile, year. These could help if we can get east and west. Maybe we could even use these because the east-west for the concealed hand are pungs. Maybe we should keep the winds, let those go. Use that for joker bait. Keep the green for maybe the first hand hope for more twos and play two, four, six, eight of some kind. Pair four, flowers. I'm thinking the first hand. For a plan B, like numbers with fours, build around the fours. There's a hand in here for consecutive run. Three, four, three, four, dragon but that's not on here. We need to force a year hand and two, four, six, eight. I'm kind of thinking I would probably split up the dragon or the flowers and use these for a year hand where we can leverage this multiple. Horde twos, play maybe the third hand down or continue to hoard twos and, and whites and then play two, four, six, eight with all these jokers. Use these for joker bait. So there's lots of potential, but it's gonna be a challenge. This will take work, which is part of the fun. Two, four, six, eight and a year hand. It's a little bleak, I know. Sometimes you can't see the trees for the forest. I think that's how that saying goes. When you're looking at all those tiles, it can be challenging. Pre-select categories and force yourself to play hands you might not normally consider. It's a great way to build your confidence and your skill. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. 
Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.